Hey, Dave Williamson back for part three. Part three, that's right, part three of the Redline Collection for the week, this week of September. What's today? The 17th of September. Time to do part three of this great collection. If you have any questions, be sure to call me or text me at 503-956-3708. And of course, you can look at my website, toycarcollector.com, toycarcollector.com for all your fabulous Redline needs. Now let's take a look in this collection, what we have left. Starting with the 55 Nomad, a live 55, classic Nomad. Actually, for this is a 1970 model, so they do call it the classic Nomad. Later on, they changed the name to a live 55 and then to 55 Nomad or something like that. This is a green one, and green is apparently pretty hard to find because I bid on one a few weeks ago, and man, did that thing go sky high. I did not get it. So here's a green one. It's pretty good shape, it's not bad overall, it's not mint or anything, but it's a pretty nice car. Orange is also a very difficult color to find in this, as well as olive is a difficult color to find in the classic Nomad. What else? Let's see, next one up here, the Mantis. This one, a Hong Kong version of the Mantis, as witnessed by the blue windows. Blue windows, a light green Mantis from the Hong Kong made models. Now it looks nice and bright green on the uh, on the video that I'm looking at here, but in real life it's more of a dull green, kind of an olivey light green, but it does have the white interior, so that's pretty cool, pretty cool that it has a white interior. Next up, another 1970 model. I'm starting with the 70s today. We did the 68, 69, some of the 70s yesterday. Here's the Seasider, the 1970 Seasider with boat. Original boat in there, I believe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Original boat on the light green seasider. A little bit of toning on the roof, but overall pretty nice. Pretty nice car. That'll go good here with the Nomad, which from this distance looks a little aqua-y. A little aqua-y. Here is a tow truck. Nice tow truck. Green color, white interior. Very nice. Very, very nice. Looking at that very closely, it's not too bad. It's missing the tow truck thing on the side there, but it's not too bad. So that's one of the heavyweight models. Next one up, the yellow Tri-Baby. Yellow Tri-Baby. There it is. Let's try that. There's the autofocus engaged. You know, I never did, can... Oh, wow, wait a minute. Look at that chrome inside there. Ooh, that looks good. Wow, it's almost like a mirror inside there. Is that myself? No, I can't see it in there. That is a nice, nice piece. Now, I've seen a mint one of these before and I missed out on it. Sure like to get a really super, super mint bright shiny yellow because yellow is a tough color to get in clean condition. Here's another 70 model, the Porsche 917. Porsche 917, Hong Kong, blue windows. A little bit different style, a little bit different looking than the US model. This one looks very, very good. Look at that. That's a nice piece. That's a, that's a near mint. That's a near mint piece. Now we have to look really close. I use magnifying glasses to, to look at the tips of the wings and the tips of the front to see just exactly what kind of condition is in, but it's gonna be somewhere between excellent and near mint. Of course, in the video here, it probably looks close to mint because that is what happens in a video. Let's see. Oh, here's the peeping bomb. Peeping bomb, this one also in yellow, as was the Tri Baby but it has severe toning. You might not be able to see it in the video, but it does have quite severe toning and it has some bumpy bumps. Bumpy bumps, that's kind of weird. And then of course, when you get the little bumps and then you touch them, the paint comes off. Let's see if you can see that. Look at that, you see it? You see it? Yep, bumpy bumps and it needs a wash. It needs a wash. 70 models, well, here's a couple of, Here's a couple of 70 models. The Heavy Chevy. Heavy Chevy. One of the most popular cars of all time. Definitely. Who doesn't want a Camaro, huh? Who? Huh? Who? Is it you? I don't think so. Everybody loves Camaros. Camaros and Mustangs. I'm more of a Mustang person myself. This one's nice. It's Chrome Boss Haas. You know, you could probably... What kind of car would you need to, to make a, like a real Boss Haas? Because you could get a body 
chromed like that these days with that wrap stuff that they do. You could wrap up a Mustang. What year would that be? 69? 69 Mustang. Chrome it out. Put some black louvers on there. Black stripes. So that would be cool. I don't know what kind of a motor you'd have to have to pop out of there like that, but it'd be super cool if you had one of those in real life. That would be something that would be way too cool. How about stepping up to the 71 models, taking a look at a buy, blah, blah, the bug eye. Bug eye with the louvers on the hood. Some of them don't have these little louvers on the hood. This one does. Nice shiny base, blue color. Decent condition, I'd say good. Good condition on that 70 bug eye. Here's the 70 Hong Kong Carabo. The Carabo, C-A-R-A-B-O. That is a pretty neat piece. These, of course, have the gull wing doors right there. Gull wing doors, both sides, of course. Look at that. All right, pretty nice. Blue is a good color for a Hong Kong Carabo. Here's a couple more. Jet Threat. Oh yeah, Jet Threat's a neat model. Look at that. Nice red one, that's a popular color. And here is the Harry Holler, Harry Holler. Two seats, is that two seats or one seat in there? What is that on the side there? Is that the stick shift on a console? Yeah, I think so. All right, pretty cool. Look at that, Jet Threat and Harry Holler. All in the same collection, all in the same. Oh, here's some heavyweights down here. Here's a heavyweight, here it comes. The Racing Fuel Tanker. Now this one has, this one is in really nice shape. A lot of times these Racing Fuel Tankers will have wheels that sit down on the body like that. This one's nice and firm. The back is in good shape, the sticker's in good shape. This is a nice Racing Fuel Tanker. We'll put her back here. Here are him, back here with the race cars, make a little space here for the pit crew car. One of the nicer cars in the whole collection, the pit crew car. That one is certainly a beauty, a pit crew car. So we got the pit crew assembled, we got our race cars over here, look at that. And we have more 71 models such as Muttmobile, the Muttmobile. That's a neat model. The Muttamobile in aqua, which is the most common color for that. Oh, here's one we missed in the 70s, Jack Rabbit Special. Look how nice those wheels are on there. That is the Jack Rabbit Special. Yay! And here we have, for the 71, another spoiler, the Sugar Caddy. Cadillac Eldorado turned into a spoilers. The motor hanging out the hood hanging out of the hood and the funny glass window. That's a neat model. That is a neat, neat model. And we've got two more heavyweights, at least two, and one is the cement mixer in aqua with the brown and orange back. Nice. Cement mixer. It's a neat model. If you haven't ever seen a collection of heavyweights, they look great together. I've seen some big collections of heavyweights and they do look fantastic. One of the neater pieces to collect. Here's the dump truck, also from 1970. Needs a little, needs to dump out the rest of the dust in there. Get that all shined up and ready to go. That one's a good one. Dump truck. Now there's also a couple of snake and mongoose cars in here. The 71 models and the 70 models. Here they are. Don Perdome the snake. Nice, Don Prudhomme the Snake, and Tom McEwen the Mongoose. The Mongoose, wouldn't that be cool to see these guys race? You know it would be. How about on the blue? Now these have reproduction stickers on these models. Tom McEwen, still the paint is pretty nice on this light blue one. That's the Mongoose too. Did I get that right? Yep, I did. And here's the snake too, also with reproduction stickers, decent shape. Very nice, right there, right there. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, now we're up to the 74, five, let's see, 74, five, six, seven models. This, this one is the 
Backwoods Bomb. This one with the dragon on it. It's always been one of my personal favorites. Pretty neat looking. And the Keep On Camping Van, or Keep On Camping Truck. As you can see, this one, the camper has yellowed a bit on the camper. Don't know why, I don't know why your campers turned yellow. But that will be the way it's going to stay. And here we go. First aid, rescue squad. Rescue squad, this one's popular. Probably not in this condition. This one's a little, like a little chipped up there. These 74 to 77 models tend to get used pretty well or pretty heavily. And so they get chip, 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 All right, now here's something cool. A couple of 442s. This one, the fire department. Fire department. Chief's Cruiser and the Maxi Taxi. This again is one of the nicer cars in the collection. Does look like the back wheel there is a little messed up though. Yellow Maxi Taxi. Both are 442s. These are popular for re remodeling into the earlier model 442. Guys will grind that uh, thing off the top, put a couple holes in here for the spoiler, paint it a nice color, and Put some stripes on there, make it into a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. And here's the State Police Cruiser. This is the good one with the hood that opens. Yeah. Right on. Look at that. Right in there. That's a nice one. These are hard to get. These police cruisers. Everybody loves a good police cruiser. Everybody loves that. Here's Larry's Towing. Larry's Towing with Larry's phone number on it. That actually was Larry's phone number at the time. For Larry's Garage. Larry, the designer of the Hot Wheels. Here we go, breakaway bucket. Breakaway. Not sure, why did he think they called it that? It doesn't, is this the bucket? And where's the break? Away. What is it designed on? It looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like a uh, hmm, 72 Pontiac Can-Am, something like that, maybe? Something like that, 73. That sounds about right for that kind of weirdness. That is some weirdness, weirdness. Speaking of weirdness, how about some military set? Look at that, US Army. Got the, uh, what is that one called? Hmm, this one's Big Bertha, I believe. Big Bertha, I believe. And this one, Tail Gunner. Is it Tank Gunner, Tail Gunner? What is it? Is it on there? It's Gun Bucket. Wow, I was way off. Gun Bucket. With the red lines. And look at that. They didn't even get those straight on there. That's funny. That is funny in a sad sort of way. And this one is the... Yes. What is this one? There's the khaki cooler, the gun bucket, the big Bertha, the... What is the Jeep called? Hmm. Hmm. Forgotten. Gunner, gunner, son of a gunner. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to go with whatever on that. Here is a red baron. Really bad shape on this one, but it is a Red Baron from that 74 to 77 period called the Flying Colors. Earlier cars before 74, 73 was the Enamels, and 68 to 72 is the Spectre Flame years. Come on now, so much stuff in the background. The camera wants to hunt down there. That's good. This is the Chevy Monza in chrome, real nice. And this one is the Sir no, wait a minute, Sand Drifter, yes, Sand Drifter. I wanted to say Sir Rodney. It's not that I don't remember the names, it's just that a couple of the cars I get mixed up. Mixed up, I also, the other one that really bothers me, or gets me every time is Grasshopper and Power Pad. They, I get the years backwards on those two, get them swapped. This one is the cab to the mountain mining set. The mountain mining set had this cab. It had a dump bed and a little handle on the side. In mint condition, they can sell for as much as $800. This one's not worth much like this. Of course, this is just a small piece. The cab is only about one eighth of the value of the whole thing. The bucket back is about three, three eighths of the value. And the handle is about half of the $800 value because that is the piece that comes up missing the most. And we are down to five cars, the least of which is this splitting image. Mm. 
from 69 not a big no big shakes there put that in the antique mall for 10 bucks and here is the large charge large charge another 74 to 77 model somewhere in there i'm not going to be spe more specific than that and here we got the special delivery with a bunged up wheel bunged up wheel special delivery that's a 71 model and finally the last model of the 97 cars is the iced tea and it's in pretty good shape got a nice top on it i might swipe that top off there to put on a better iced tea you never know some of these parts come in handy on other cars more handy than they are on here well let's take a look at the final item in the collection before we close out this fabulous end to the three-part redline collection 97 cars in total it was going to be 100 or 101 decided to keep a couple cars which is fine we've got some buttons collector pins yay collector pins i've always got collector pins in stock what's that note rob's order oh you know what that is i mean just to remind me i have got to fill rob's order today rob sent me a tech an email and said it was time for another big order of red lines so i gotta make sure i get that out today it's the only order on tap for today it's been nice and quiet for the last week because before that the entire summer was absolutely insane and it's only going to get more insane around here because i am always buying red lines and sometimes when i'm too busy selling the ones i already have i don't have time to add the new ones but i'm going to be adding a lot of new red lines real soon so if you're into red lines make sure you keep my website check it daily for the updates because you never know when things are going to drop drop on in and check it out and we've got pins buttons red lines you name it, I've got it. All right, so that's all for this video, and I appreciate it. I would appreciate also if you would give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you want to give me a thumbs down, be sure you give me your name and address first so I can come and talk to you about that in person. We should have a discussion. We'll sit down and talk about why you watched a video that you didn't like. That doesn't even make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? All right, be sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot. And we will see you in the next video.